What's up, YouTube? It's Jay Jeter. Yo, I'm back. Back doing reviews. Sorry I've been waiting so long. I I moved to a bigger place, trying to get things unpacked, set up. And one thing you notice when you pack up and move, you like you realize how much stuff you got. So I didn't ever realize how much transformers and a whole bunch of other crap that I actually did have until you actually got moved and you got to pack it up and unpack it. So I've been busy doing that, trying to get settled in and all that good stuff. So now I'm back. I'm not doing my reviews in the kitchen anymore. I got me a little station in my basement set up, table. So yeah, I'm going to start out light before I start doing transformer reviews. So I'm going to do this um, DC Comics Designer Series review. Uh, as you see, I got this uh, the Batman from the New 52 Batman. And let's take a look at the package real quick. It comes in this nice window display box. I got this figure from my local comic book shop here in, in Maryland. Comics to Astonish. If you're in the area, check them out. They're real good. So yeah, they uh, comic designer series. Greg, I'm going to say this wrong. Capullo. Action figure. On the side, you got the artwork of Batman. On the, on the side, you got artwork of Batman. On the back, you have the figures in the line, the first wave. You got Batman, Talon, Nightwing, and the Riddler. So, I'm not sure I'm going to get all of these. I might go pick him up. Here's a real good figure with Nightwing. So, here's a little description on the back of the box. Go ahead, pause it, and read it. And the top, that's about it. Um, nothing else. So in the fit box, he comes with Batman. He comes with pretty much one accessory, but three of them. He comes with these little tiny, teeny tiny, teeny tiny. Stop focusing on Batman. Batarangs. So he comes with three of them. I just not pulled them out the packaging, so I haven't tried them out. So from what I've seen with other reviews, they fit in between his knuckles. Let's focus back up. And let me know how the lighting is. On my camera, it seems kind of dark. Uh, just let me know. Feedback is always, always welcome. But uh, yeah, they fit between his knuckles. Get these. His knuckles are kind of spread out. You can see that or not. So that's where they can. Uh, he can fit them in. I can get them fit in. It's my first time trying this out. So, yeah, something like that. And you can do it three times. Grab it. Mm. And they, they seem to fit in pretty um, tight and everything, but um, I probably just kind of crappy. Everything, but you get the point. No pun intended. So you, you can do it however you want to do it. Just got to play around with it a little bit. I'm probably going to put them in a little baggie and store them away somewhere. So yeah. So here's the figure, New 52 Batman, and it looks very, very nice. I must say, it's a uh, a nice, clean design. Like the sculpt in his his suit, the lines, whatnot, the uh, the shading in his belt. That looks very nice. Bicep muscle design. The cape is nice too. It's a Soft rubber cape. Uh, lift up the back. You can see his back. You got some smudges from the cape right there. But yeah, nice, nice design. Um, you got his his gauntlets. You got the um, the claws on his gauntlets are made out of the soft rubber. They might come deformed and out of the package. You just gotta move them around a little bit. Get them shaped back into how they're supposed to be. So yeah, it looks very, very nice. Very nice, very nice figure. Uh, mine got some little blemish right there on his cheek and everything. But other than that, paint absolutely very, very good. I like it. Like it a lot. Uh, as far as articulation, he can look up a good amount. He can look down, kind of, sort of, a little bit. Not really. 
little bit, I'll say. Uh, his joints are nice and tight. Make, take care. I heard uh, some people, uh, their figures broke at the joints. So, you can go out at the shoulder. You can rotate at the shoulder. 360, if you want to do that. Uh, rotate at the upper bicep. Bends at the elbow. On a real stiff joint. Uh, 90 degrees. Uh, his wrist pivot, wrist rotates. Uh, uh, no, it don't. I'm sorry. It's not wrist does not rotate, but the uh, his glove rotates at the glove right there, which is kind of weird. Uh, he has a ab crunch that doesn't really want to go back. It seems real. If it does go back, it's real stiff, and he can go forward a little bit. Like that, it's real stiff, real tight. You probably can go back. I'm not gonna try and force it because I heard these things are kind of fragile. Ugh. Uh, uh, rotates at the waist, bends four at the leg, about that much. Goes backwards that much. Goes out only that much. Can't read the splits. Rotates at the upper thigh. Does not. Rotate at the lower leg right there, which is good because that's not humanly possible. And he can double jointed knee. So you get a nice, good knee bend out of that. And he pivots at the foot, forward and back. No ankle rocker, I'm sorry. And he goes left and right at the foot also, at the ankle. So yeah, he has some good articulation. Um, pretty much all you need, really. Uh, there's no wrist swivel, but yeah, you can work with that. Yeah, that's workable. Anything he stands, he stands pretty well. The one my ankles on mine is kind of weak. I don't know if all of them are like that or not. So um, it's kind of hard to get them balanced. But the cape, if it falls, it touches the ground. It, it kind of holds them up. But mine's not touching the ground right now. So it's it's standing up pretty well, I must say. And do a little quick size comparison. We got the Young Justice Batman. And he stands a little bit taller than him. Well, this one stands a little bit taller than the Young Justice Batman. And we got this Batman, which I don't know where he is from. But I got him and he looks cool. And he is shorter than this new version of Batman. So yeah, I man, I like this figure. If you um happen to find him or see him, go ahead and pick him up. You won't be, you won't be disappointed. It's a great find, great buy. Highly recommend it to anybody. So, um, so that's been me, um, JG. There, I'm back. Doing reviews again. Uh, if you got any feedback from me, let me know how my lights look. Anything I need to do better, I'm, all, I'm always welcoming feedback to improve and bring stuff to you all. All right, that's me. I'm signing off. Catch y'all later. Peace. <laughs>